Hi, my name is Dr. John Duart, and I want to talk to you today about strategies of how to rebuild your microbiome, how to breed microbial diversity in your intestinal tract, because we now know, based on the, a lot of really good science, that our microbiome and the diversity of our, our microbiology in our gut has to do with almost every physiological function we can think of, from mood to blood sugar to bone density to our immunity, it has so much to do with almost every single aspect of our health. I wrote an article, a pretty comprehensive article, um, based on the latest science, and all the references are there, about how to rebuild your microbiome and brew and breed microbial diversity. Now, there's two different kinds of microbes, probiotics, on the market today. One of them is what's called colonizing, and the other one is called transient. Transient microbes, probiotics, they go through you, and they don't actually become permanent residents as they go through you. Now, there's tons of good science that supports the idea that these transient probiotics that you sell, get in the health food store, they actually work and they do wonderful things, but they don't stick around. When you stop taking them, things tend to go back to the way they were with your microbiology. There are also colonizing probiotics, and there's very few, 99% of the, of the probiotics on the market are transient in nature, not colonizing in nature. It's only a handful. There's one that we use called Bifidobacterium lactis HN019, and it's one that's been shown and studied to actually stick to the gut wall and adhere to the gut wall and actually poop out waste that other good microbes will actually eat and therefore become more diverse permanent residents in your gut. And one study showed that when people over 60 took that probiotic, it increased their microbial diversity significantly. And that's really the goal, right? Is to get something where you can take it reboot micro, microbial diversity, and then not have to take probiotics for the rest of your life. And that's been my, my take on this for, for the last 20 years. I never really wanted to carry probiotics that people had to take for the rest of their life because our whole thing at Life Spa is to get people to get on, get better, get off stuff, and not be on it for the rest of their life. So when I finally saw this research on these probiotics, it was exciting, and that's why we actually carry these colonizing probiotics. And I've been asked by many of my clients and, and, and subscribers to, to, to describe how exactly to reboot and reset uh, an environment to support that microbial diversity. So there's four basic steps. The first step is you want to heal and repair and support the environment of your intestinal mucosa from the very top, your mouth, all the way to the very bottom. That's where the bugs live. They live on your skin, on the inside of your gut wall, also on the outside, in your mouth, your respiratory tract. But they love skin. That's where they live, right? And you got to feed them, and they got to be. The, and the skin has to be just right. Can't be too mucusy. Can't be too dry. It's like the three little bears. Has to be just right. So if the mucus membranes are too dry, the microbes won't thrive. If they're too wet, they won't thrive. They have to be just right. So we want to support them. So we use a tea called a slippery elm prebiotic formula tea. And what it is, it's slippery elm, marshmallow, and licorice root. And we take these herbs chopped up, and you take them and you, and you cook them in a tablespoon of each of those in two quarts of water, soak it overnight. Uh, in the morning, boil it down to a half a quart, strain it through a metal strainer. You have this thick, viscous tea that you take tablespoon doses all throughout the day on an empty stomach. And like that Pepto-Bismol commercial, it starts to slime up your entire intestinal tract, covering, protecting your mucous membranes, allowing the good microbes to begin to proliferate, healing the mucous membrane, supporting the environment, and also the fiber, the soluble fiber in this prebiotic tea actually feeds and nourishes the good microbes. That's step one. Step two is to go in there and knock out some of the not so good microbes and breed some of the good colonizing bacteria. We have a formula called Gut Revival, which half of the probiotics in there knock out the bad guys and half of them are colonizing probiotics like the Bifidobacteria lactis HN019 that actually permanently you know, adheres to the gut wall. Now, the thing about that is that we have microbes in our intestinal tract, according to some of the latest science, that there are good guys, there's bad guys, and there's guys that do a lot of nothing, that take up real estate. And when you are attacked by some virus or bacteria, you want a lot of good guys to rally and take care of the bad guys. That's sort of how it works. 
But if you have good guys and bad guys and a lot of guys doing nothing, you want to get rid of the doing nothing guys and get more of the good guys so you can rally in times of stress or immunity support that you need, right? It makes sense. So that's what the, the gut revival does. It sort of knocks out a lot of these bad guys or real estate occupying not very functional probiotics and actually then, then uh, inoculate your gut with good colonizing bacteria. It makes sense as step two. Plus, we just laid down this prebiotic fiber throughout the entire intestinal tract. So we just basically fertilize the soil so these good bugs can proliferate and we have a better chance of knocking out some of the bad guys. Then step three is to really bring in the, the colonizing bacteria in a, in a major way. We have a, a product called Flora Restore Max which has, uh, uh, has a, a whole variety of colonizing probiotics that adhere to the gut wall. So we pretty much inundate your intestinal tract with colonizing microbes to really make that final difference. And then at the end of that step four, the final step is to go back and either use what's called Flora Restore, which is a smaller version, a less potent version of the Flora Restore Max uh, one a day or one every other day for a little while while you're introducing things like fermented foods into your diet. Now remember, fermented foods are traditionally created to help people uh, allow their foods to be preserved through the winter months, right? So they're hot, they're heating, they're acidic, they use lactic acid fermentation. So the lactic acid protects the food from other bacteria infiltrating and making the food go bad. So these are very acidic foods. So in the summertime, in a hot person, in a hot season, eating a lots of 20 ounce jars of kombucha, for example, that can be too much heat, too much acid for that person. So be aware, fermented foods are always and traditionally done in very small quantities, condiment portions, and in the winter, yes, we want more of them in the summer when it's hot, depending on your body type, you have to make those adjustments. Uh, clearly, that the fermented foods were there to preserve foods, uh, so there were much, much more of those available in the winter months. So it just sort of makes sense. But that's how you do it. You have step one, two, three, and four to really bring back uh, the balance and create an environment that can support diversity, microbial diversity, um, and therefore immunity and all the, the, the benefits that a really healthy microbiome will deliver. So please check out the article. It's pretty comprehensive going through all the research on all of these steps, all the probiotics used in these steps, and how to actually rebuild uh, your microbiome and diversity based on really the cutting edge science. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Villard. This recording is brought to you by Life Spa, where ancient Ayurvedic wisdom meets modern science. Get access to free health video newsletters by Dr. John at LifeSpa.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease.